Ailing something to eat. Stay away from the mutton. Overcooked, little flavour. <laughs> a lively one, I like that. On hand, her, sir. I'm told that the kidney pudding is good, but it's, well, never really been one of my favourites. I said, on hand, her. <laughs> if it's fresh. Yes, a prayer. You pray, don't you, friar? Yes, of course, my lord. Any particular sort of prayer? The family's off to Sussex. The Duke of Arendelle is the depository for the king's taxes this year. Oh, good. It's taxes, friar. What could be good about it? Everybody comes from around the county, sips spiced wine, pretends to like each other, and then leaves large sums of money they can ill afford. I see what you mean. A traveling prayer would be in order. You know, the usual thing, good weather, safe journey, whatever else you can think of. Of course. And, uh, Friar, perhaps you could say another as well, for my sons, Armus and now William, off to war. I worry for them. I miss them. I'll pray the best prayer I can pray for them, Sir Thomas. No doubt you will, Friar. While you're at it, you might as well mention something about the damn taxes. I've spoken to the Reeve, and he'll make the crop delivery while we're away. And I've asked him to clear the north field as soon as he's harvested the other side. And for the journey? The horses are groomed, the armor's being polished, the supplies are stocked, and the tax monies are being counted. Isn't anyone interested in what I've done to prepare for this journey? Well, I've spoken to the Reeve's daughter, not a moment too soon. It was obvious she was distraught and practically in tears over the thought of my leaving. I have no clue as to why. I consoled her, of course, like any good student of the cloth would do to ease another's pain and lighten their burden. And you'll be relieved to know I made her feel much, much better. What is it? What's wrong? This just came from a king's guard. He said it was about Armus. Armus?
is coming home. She's coming home. Sir Thomas. Yes, yes. I suggest you choose your response to this very carefully. I came as soon as I heard. Thomas, it's wonderful, wonderful news. <laughs> Eight years, Elizabeth. He was just a wisp of a boy when he left. I thought for sure I'd lost him. And then when William went away. I know. <laughs> a diary I used to keep when the children were small. Armus was the most remarkable child. Really? How remarkable was he? Self-reliant, level-headed, extremely intelligent. I could always count on Armus. He was my rock. My God, did I have plans for him. He was going to be my right hand. Yes. You and Anne were quite proud of your firstborn, I remember. You were particularly close to him. And now you'll have him back again. <laughs> you'll have him back. Chicamas! <sighs> Chicamas! He's not. He is! Friar! Friar! Good work. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. What's the sword for? A knight like Armas will need someone to help keep him in shape while he's home, and, well... I'm available. Well, don't be ridiculous. He's going to want to practice with someone that's actually good. Richard Cedric, Armus wasn't the most robust boy when he left. The Crusades have most likely weakened him. For me, please, go easy on him. Yes, Father. A horse! A horse! told me all about you. When your brother told me you'd welcome me with open arms, he wasn't jesting, was he? You have grown. Really grown. You'll be pleased to hear I have two volunteers to help keep your sword arm in tune. He'll, He'll do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in. Let's go in. As we were going home together, we decided to ride together. <laughs> Trade battle stories and other conquests. A fine night, that one. You could tell the way he took on the whole lot. And yet you didn't lend him a hand. It was his battle, brother. How many men did you kill? Did you prefer the longbow or the crossbow? How did you get so big? <laughs> it was just a natural mistake, Eleanor. You were just a little girl when you last saw him. How were you to know what he'd look like today? Well, it's easy for you to say. You didn't make a fool of yourself. Well, no one really noticed. Except, of course, for the night, and I don't think it bothered him a great deal. When do you think you'll be going back home? Well, actually, since my castle is on the way to Arendelle, I thought I might stay. Ride with you to pay the taxes. Am I really that horrible, Eleanor? I wonder what Armas would enjoy for dinner. I wonder what Armas wouldn't enjoy for dinner. <laughs> You're still up. I couldn't sleep. Nor could I. What's that? 
battle history of a kind. An account of the marriage of Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine. Oh. I wanted to tell you of my pride for you. There's no need, Father. For me, there is. It was never easy for me to share the words of my heart. Too much was kept mute with age and wisdom. You learn that the words of the heart are not meant to remain silent, They're meant to be shared. It is most grievous when that knowledge comes too late. Mother knew how much you loved her father. She knew. A warrior's service in a king's campaign is not something I would choose for my children. But you did what was expected of you, and you stood the test. I am proud of you, Amos. Proud you are of my flesh and of my heart. Brother! What's this? Surely you haven't forgotten it's the eldest who carries the banner. Oh, you've carried it too long and too well for me to take it now. It doesn't matter. You're home. I don't want to take it. Then you reject the system in which our lives are governed. Everything we live by and believe in. I'll carry it, but I won't like it. I never said I liked it. my most treasured room. It's said that one of the early Viking kings crushed the skull of his third wife with this. <laughs> Richard the Lionheart's personal dagger. I don't know if he actually stabbed anyone with it. <laughs> Remarkable piece, though. Ah! Um... Henry III's. I'm still trying to figure out what he used it for. <laughs> it's an interesting collection. Thank you. It uh, started with a gift of a poison knife from my wife. God rest her soul just kind of grew from there. An English scimitar. Well, only a warrior would know about that one. From Saxon times. Yes, owned by one of the great Saxon kings, so I'm told. Like William the Conqueror. William the Conqueror was a Norman, my boy. Not a Saxon. Charlemagne. Magnificent, isn't it? He wore it in his first campaign against the French. On the last day, as the story goes, the sun was so bright and the armor so brilliant that the reflection blinded his foes such that they surrendered without a fight. Interesting room, this full of all kinds of unusual things. Some fascinating, others quite repulsive. Is that Mullins? Yes. Where could he have gone? 
serving food in the great hall, you know. It may be something one ingests by mouth, brother, but it's certainly not food. Besides which, I couldn't bear to spend another moment in the same room as John Mullins. His disposition hasn't improved over the years. You don't know the half of it. Who, by the way, is the creature with him? And more importantly, why? Alexandra, your grace. My daughter. I had no idea. She's been studying at the convent of St. Mary for quite some time. Brightest one there, I might add. Certainly, most fair. Father, please. <laughs> and with his despicable son dead by Eleanor's arrow, the burning and the pillaging of the villages finally stopped. And Mullins vowed revenge. Only till the end of time. And Father gave strict instructions to stay well clear of him. As if a warning were needed. Who in this family would ever have anything even remotely to do with John Mullins? I'm not sure which would be worse, Mullins' revenge or Father's wrath. So, tell me about the convent. It's most beautiful, but of course I couldn't wait to get home to see Father. Well, as you can see, I've uh, left her in very capable hands. Your oh, Grace. Have we remained a decent amount of time? No, we should leave anyway. If we remain much longer, we risk the possibility of death by extreme boredom. My lords, your swords, if you please. Of course. <laughs> now, any more heroics and we'll see how blue the Duke's blood really is. can't avoid in life. Death and taxes. <laughs> oh, I see I've offended the lady. I'm so sorry. We've been too long in the king's prison. Manners have become frayed around the edges. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll see to it that you won't have to watch me long. I promise I'll kill you first. Journey's always this lively. This is one of the better ones. Get used to it, big brother. Things at home are going to be pretty dull compared to what you've been used to.
Dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Good. We have it all. Do we? I don't see the good Duke's contribution. No, I'm sure it was an oversight. You have a lot on your mind right now. Oh, yes. The rate has risen this year, unfortunately. I'm afraid we'll be taking, well, just about everything you own, actually. A shilling is more than you'll get from this house. Ooh, a man of principle. I admire that. Kill him. It's not worth your life, Your Grace. Yes. You're right, of course, Sir Thomas. Let him go. Isn't tax season just hell? The name of the castle is Harlech, isn't it? Well, that's Celtic. Lock means lake. Harlock, over or above a lake, something like that. What if the name of the castle had a basis in fact? Part of it could have been built over water. The dungeons would be the lowest point in the castle and the closest to the source. I understand that you're quite the knight of the king's realm. I only regret we didn't have the chance to chat. Perhaps we'll find the time after the King's guards have caught up with you. Sadly, I wouldn't get my hopes up, Sir Thomas. The King's guards, I'm afraid to say, were supposed to be unmatched in their ability to prevent an escape from the King's prison. And yet... <laughs> <laughs> we're off, lads. <laughs> crown i order you to present yourselves and throw down your weapons there's only four of them Bowman! at your ready Open your gullet with my fingers, I swear! Problem? <laughs> Nearly got it. I can hear the sound of water. How far down? I can't tell. I just hope it's not too deep. Covington Cross will be back in a moment. Have them bring up the battering ram, Captain. No. 
There are other nobles in there as well as the Duke. I'll not make a foolish decision in haste to spill blood. These men are in possession of the King's gold, Captain. If the King does not get it, then the only blood that shed might be ours. It seems to me we have quite a dilemma. The only thing keeping you alive is me. The only thing keeping me alive is the threat of me killing you. Fascinating when you think about it. Only in your death do I lose my bargaining power. However, and here's the part I like, there are several of you. How many will they see killed before they withdraw? And which ones will they be? And there I go again. There, there, Alexandra. Don't cry. I won't let him hurt you again. change my name. I am not unaware of the difficulties you will face when you evade the King's Guard. And you will evade the King's Guard. Do you think so? <laughs> or don't you? You're about to make a proposal. Perhaps. Then perhaps I'll hear it sometime. You will let me know. What is it you propose? Look, we're both captives right now. Can't we take care of each other, at least for this moment? Thank you. The King's Guard will be searching for you for quite some time. You will need sanctuary, provisions, possibly even more money. I will provide whatever you require, for however long you require it. And what does John Mullins want in return? Freedom, now, for myself and for my daughter. Do we have a deal or not? We have the beginning of a negotiation. Meaning? Meaning I'll let you know. Yes. I'm sure you will. Follow me. What's Mullins up to? Only something as pathetic as saving himself, I'm sure. I'm frightened, Thomas. What can we do? Nothing yet. We must rely on Armas now. He'll get us through. What now? Do we ride for help? We can't leave now. There's no time. That's right. Then what shall we do? Our only chance is to get back in there and overpower them somehow. With what? We I... have no weaponry. I only know they're desperate. We have to get back in there. You're right. Armas will think of something. Yes. Get out! Get out! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! 
A list of demands from the outlaws! You missed an opportunity there. I could have delivered that list. Perhaps you're right. of the castles. This is Norman, and that's North. Has the Brains Trust had time to gather its thoughts? Your demands are unreasonable. A painful death! By definition, is always unreasonable. I'm frightened, Cedric. You need not be. My brother Armas is a great warrior. He'll rescue us. You're so unlike what I expected. What did you expect? Oh, this is the Greys are not to be trusted. But I feel like you're telling me the truth somehow. This is not what it looks like. Your son has violated my daughter. Leave my son alone and watch him ruin her. Not in this lifetime. Your lifetime may have just become quite hey, short. Hey, hey, enough! 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 I'm sure it's to the right. We turned right here a moment ago. You're leading us in circles. No. Yes, you are. I'm positive it's this way. Not again! Get us! Come on! Get away, they'll bring back more men. Stop them, Amos. Stop them! Why didn't you shoot? I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? I'm not the kind of knight you think I am, Richard. During the Crusades, I was a cook. I trained so hard for the right to do battle for my king and take my rightful place as father's son. I looked forward to the day when I would lift a sword in combat. And that day came. I didn't see him at first, but a knight to my rear warned me. I swung round, my broadsword wielded the blade thrust into his belly. And the life drained so quickly from his face. A boy like me. He watched me, watching him die, as though it were happening to someone else. And you killed in self-defense? The kill came so easily. I'll never forget the incredible feeling of power it gave me. 
feeling I had no wish to acquire taste for My entire life's been spent in your shadow, brother. I didn't mind because I thought you were a hero. Someone to look up to. But you're not a hero. You're not even a knight. And you're certainly no son of fathers, who we now have to rescue! They are bluffing, Captain. The longer we wait, the weaker we seem. We have been charged by the King to bring in these men. Now, if you won't give the order, I will. Bring it forward! Get away! What's funny? Get out of here! Don't we have enough trouble? Why should the daughter pay for the sins of the father? That has nothing to do with it. Her father is who her father is. Can you not see the consequences these actions could bring? For God's sake, Cedric, think before you let your whims take hold of you. The battering ram's being moved in. They're preparing a siege of the castle. They don't think I'm serious. We'll have to do something about that. You're thinking of using these? We need weapons. These are weapons. But they're antiques. They're all we've got. Most of them probably don't even work. Help if you want to, brother. And if you don't, stay in the kitchen. Just don't get in the way. Your children have caused me a lot of trouble, great knight. Also one of yours? No. A son. <laughs> Stay out of this town. Take him. Cedric, no! Oh. <laughs> Could be you next. When the great door opens, you walk towards the king's guards. If you prove a coward and stop before they can get close enough to read the note, your death will be for nothing. Now, you do want to help your family, don't you? Are you going to kill me or talk me to death? Are you ready? Yes. Where's Arnold? Hiding, probably. smirking with a hundred longbows pointed at you. I'm not afraid to die. No? <laughs> I'm told when arrows rip into a man, he can hear his flesh tear.
change my name after all. It's all over! An arrow for the heart! A romantic notion when you think about it. But only one arrow. And many hearts. Which one will it be? Will I choose, or will someone of uncommon valor step to the fore? Are there no surprises left in life? Perhaps one. Good work. Where's Arbus? <laughs> this has all been very entertaining. Over there, if you please, with the others. So difficult to find good bandits these days. You were behind this always. Well, you're disappointed in me, aren't you? Why have you done this? Do you think I'm mad? Collect all this money and then give it to the king. <laughs> you won't be laughing when you're standing on the king's gallows. Line him up. Get out of there. Me free. Fascinating life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just when you think you've got it all worked out, it takes the most unexpected twist. Yes. I've been looking all over for you. I finally realized the kitchen staff always well, we seem to know your whereabouts. I came up here to... I said some things. We all say things. It's already forgotten. It's just that you're not quite what I was expecting. 
I'm not what anyone was expecting. No, you don't understand. I... I went to bed every night wanting to be just like you. I dreamt I was you. I dreamt I was you. <laughs> Me? There's nothing I would rather have been than a second son. But that's the worst thing to be. You're the lucky one. You can be whatever's in your heart. I had to be what was in father's heart. Just as he had to be what was in his father's. Well, you're right, I am a coward. I haven't the courage to tell father I haven't the stomach for the knighthood. You've certainly the stomach to drain our winter food stores. I've just been informed that you finished off the last barrel of walnuts. Really, Armus. Can't we exercise a little self-control? You know. I know of no knight who carries recipes for feeding 400 people in his knapsack. And your interest in food seems to be more professional than most. And you're not disappointed? I'm proud of you, Armus. As I am of all my sons. But we must have a long talk. How about the knighthood? No, about sugar. Seems there's no more for my favorite rice pudding, thanks to you. Well, there have been plenty of times when I've been without sugar. Currants are very tasty and, well, much more subtle. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yes, we will. We will. Yeah. Cooking for 400 people, sand everywhere, blazing heat. We'll it's talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Covington Cross will be back in a moment.